Hey guys, welcome to Tweet Big. Hey, tonight we're going to show you where we're at so far on our Roblox game. Uh, uh, we, we finished the map most for the most part, um, and then uh, this area up here is going to be a lobby uh, for a while you're waiting to get into the next game. So, uh, like I said the other day, we're going to have 12 uh, players, up to 12 players, and uh, you can see that everyone will start in their own section here uh, each one of these is a spawn each one of these is a spawn pad and then there's a secret way out of this room and you'll get into these other rooms and work your way up to the finish line right here uh, this uh, object that touches the finish line so um, I got some of the coding work worked out let's uh, let's go ahead and play it and show you how it works for now we're kind of cheating it's going to show us um, exactly where the entrances are to get through each of the walls um, so let's go ahead and take a look here okay so you can see that right now it's uh, red uh, we've also added uh, sword so it's kind of cool alright and um, We'll go ahead and uh, just buzz through here real quick. Show you guys how it works at the finish line. So the it's not this is kind of kind of boring at this point, but um, when we have multiple players in here, uh, we'll have some PvP action, and you won't be able to tell um, where uh, the entrances are to get into one room to the other. So it'll add some. Uh, multi things that are going on. One, you're going to be trying to find your way through, and the other, you're going to be worried about other players. And then you'll touch this here, and you can see that it says winner. So um, we're also going to have when second people, second person touches, it'll say second place, third place, etc. As people continue to file in, uh, fill in. So that's kind of neat. I'm going to show you um, the code a little bit behind how I coded this button and how I made this show up up here. So let's go ahead and stop this. And let's go to the home plate. Uh, all right, so let's do, let's take a look at the code here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm keeping track of if that home plate uh, object has been touched so here you can see I called it home plate and when it's touched it checks to see if it was a player that touched it uh, so if it was a player and not nil or nothing then we run this little bit of code and you can see here that if it's I'm keeping a counter of how many touches uh, and I might need to little, do a little bit more work on that to determine if a player leaves and comes back because I don't want them to count that as a second touch. So I'm going to work on that. But each time it increments it to a new touch, it shows a different image. So this is the, the image that I just showed you guys where it says winner. And then if it's the second player, it'll say second place. And I have to add in these extra uh, um, decals uh, to show that right thing on the back wall. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, let's see what else I want to show you guys. Um, I guess that's kind of it for now. Um, the home plate, I just basically laid down the object and put down a decal and uploaded the image uh, right here. So that's how you do that as far as that. Um, Mario 2D2 uh, was working on the lobby and he has some stuff going on over here. I'm not going to go into that d detail yet because I don't know what he's doing. Uh, but he's helping me out with the lobby, so thanks for that. Uh, other than that, it's a work in progress, so um, let me know what you think. Thanks. Thank you for watching this Big Tweak video. Please consider subscribing for notifications on future videos and contests. We plan to give away, at minimum, one prize every month going forward. Thank you so much for your support.